Hi Church, it's good to be with you all. I am recording this midday devotional musing uh, from my guest room slash office. And so you may hear noises from my family downstairs. We have pretty thin walls. But I'm glad to be connecting with you, even if only virtually for a season. Uh, one of the things that has really I've noticed in the last week is how much fear has been ramped up around the coronavirus. Uh, my family was in California last week, and we watched with some of our own fear and trembling images on the news and on Facebook of people waiting in line for carts to get into Costco and buying out shelves, empty shelves of bread and eggs and milk and people fighting over uh, grocery store items. And um, it got me thinking about how we respond to fear when we feel it. Because I want personally to deal with the fear that I'm feeling, which is real, uh, in a healthy way that both acknowledges my trust in Jesus and also prompts me to be proactive and wise in taking care of myself and my family. And so in those musings about fear, I remembered a prayer practice I was introduced to many years ago called the welcoming prayer. The welcoming prayer is not actually an ancient prayer practice. It was developed by a woman named Mary uh, Murawski. I think that's how you pronounce her last name. She was from New York. Um, and she's a founder of the Contemplative Outreach Organization, which if you've heard of Father Thomas Keating and Centering Prayer, that's the organization that has really been important in making Centering Prayer an important prayer practice across the Christian tradition over the last probably 30 or 40 years. Um, and you can actually read more about welcoming prayer and where it came from and some of its history if you go to one of the websites that we've listed in the comment section below. Uh, that will give you more information on welcoming prayer, more than I can give you in this short video. So I do encourage you to look at that. What this practice allows you to do is to take a distressing feeling like fear, anger, anxiety, and really feel it. Welcome it. Not to dwell on it, but in order to release it and move on. All within the loving presence of God. Because God knows what we're feeling. God knows the fear that we are facing. And God wants to be present to us in that fear in such a way that we're able to let it go so that it doesn't paralyze us. I think that's what's key, is when we really feel the feeling and then release it, it no longer paralyzes us, but we can actually move forward acting uh, to be proactively wise in how we deal with, for example, this virus. So there are three movements within this prayer practice. The first is to focus and sink in. The second is to welcome the feeling. And the third is to let go. Focus and sink in. Welcome. Let go. Let me just dig into those very briefly, what I mean by those three things, and then we're actually going to practice it uh, if you choose to continue the video. So focus and sink in. This is about actually feeling the feeling. It's not about dwelling on the feeling or indulging in it or trying to justify it. It's just about feeling the feeling. Don't run away from it. I think so often when we feel bad feelings, we want to run away, say, re think it out. For me, I'm like, okay, I shouldn't be feeling this way because of X, Y, and Z. Rather than just saying, okay, that's how I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling afraid. Uh, allow that fear to wash over you so that you actually feel it rather than trying to push it away or push it down deep within you. And then secondly, with welcome, you say to the feeling, welcome fear. Welcome rage, welcome anxiety, welcome worry. Um, and this is a key distinction that I really appreciate uh, this prayer practice makes note of. We're talking about feelings and emotions here. We're not talking about the problems and physical hardships that may have triggered the emotions. Um, we're not saying in this prayer, welcome coronavirus and all that comes with it but welcome fear over the coronavirus. 
Remember, the welcoming prayer is for feelings and emotions, not for what triggered them. And this really is about when you welcome something, you're accepting it. And acceptance is not passive. Acceptance is a way to establish you in reality, to be able to acknowledge this is where I'm at. I'm not going to fight it. I'm not going to push it away. I'm just going to acknowledge it so that then you can respond to the situation effectively. So if you're terrified about COVID-19, that fear may be immobilizing you. And so accepting and releasing the fear may free you to deal with the issue. That's why acceptance of the emotion is so important. It can free you to actually do something about it. So focus and sink in, welcome, and then finally let go. There are several ways to do this, and you can actually look at those websites that I cited below in the comment section for several ways to do this step. My favorite is a list of four sayings. Uh, these come directly from Mary Morowski. So she says, I let go of my desire for security and survival. I let go of my desire for esteem and affection. I let go of my desire for power and control. I let go of my desire to change the situation. I think these, these four statements are so important right now in the season of coronavirus because there is so much uh, about this that is disruptive to our sense of security and survival, to our sense of power and control, to, I mean, we have so much desire to change the situation and there's so much that we can't do about it. And so again, um, these four statements allow us to release those feelings into the loving arms of God, who is the one who is taking care of us in the midst of our fear, in the midst of our worry, in the midst of our anger. So in light of all of that, I want us to practice this right now for our midday practice. So I encourage you to close your eyes and take three deep breaths. Now focus and let whatever emotion you are feeling sink in. Maybe you're feeling worried or afraid or angry. Maybe there's a positive emotion that you want to acknowledge and really feel and let sink in. Like gratitude. Whatever the feeling that you are feeling right in this moment, let it wash over you. Let it sink in. Don't try to fight it or explain it away. And now take that emotion, whatever it is, and welcome it. Say to it directly, Welcome fear, welcome gratitude, welcome anxiety, welcome anger. And then finally, let go of the emotion by repeating these four statements. I let go of my desire for security and survival. I let go of my desire for esteem and affection. I let go of my desire for power and control. I let go of my desire to change the situation. 
And as you are sitting in that space of letting go, imagine the loving warmth of God washing over you. Maybe you see liquid sunlight just kind of pouring down over your head and filling you up from the bottom of your toes, filling up every toe into your legs, your stomach, your arms, your neck, your face, your chest, your head. Maybe it feels like the embrace, the warm embrace of someone you care about. But allow the loving presence of God to warm you and to remind you that God is present in the fear, in the acceptance, in the letting go. God, we thank you that you are with us. We thank you that you are with us when we are feeling positive emotions and when we're feeling negative emotions. You created them, God, for us. And so help us to be in healthy relationship with our emotions. Thank you for this space of prayer, even with moments of distraction, perhaps from noises uh, in our house, in our workplace, uh, in this video. Let us not forget that you walk alongside us, no matter what we face. You never leave us to face our troubles alone. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.